Hey guys, welcome back to the Geek Beat at CE the Week. CE Week at CE Line Shows. It's all encompassing, all in one. We are excited to have Debbie and John with us from AMX. That's right. How's the show treating you so far? So far, so good. Yeah? Yeah. It's going great. We're so happy to be here. And we just learned that we're all neighbors. Yes, yes you guys we are. are in Richardson, Texas. Richardson, Texas. And we're over in Addison. Which is like right minutes. by each other. Not, not, I'm not exaggerating when I say it's minutes yes, away from each yes. other. Yes. We should so, hang out. Yeah, wh <laughs> by the way, where, like, what intersection in Richardson are you guys nearby? It's off the George Bush Turnpike and Shiloh Road. Oh, I know oh, exactly. Okay. You're yeah. kind of over near, uh, over near the Cisco building and yes. stuff. They're off That's Jupiter and George yes. Bush. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. We've awesome. already got a chat room going. AMX makes some cool stuff they're saying. Yeah. Woo so you, you, your, your reputation precedes you for sure. Good. This show has increased. Were you here last year? No, we were not. We did oh, not okay. participate last year. We have before, but not last year. Okay. So it's the the amount of people has increased tremendously. Yes, it so is. It's really nice to see. It's Absolutely. really. And I'm sure you guys are attracting a lot of attention at your particular booth. With, with this. this thing. It is gorgeous. It yes. What is it? This Duh. is our Madero X touch panel. Uh, it described as a fantastic because of the panoramic display. Yes. It's amazing. Fantastic. Right. So the um, the motivation to make such a wide display is if anybody's used touch panels before like your iPad. Yes. Uh, they're a typical uh, TV screen size, which you call a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Where this is even greater than uh, most widescreen TVs. We're and looking at 1920 by 530. This is a 20 inch uh, touch screen. And you know what? I have to say, I don't, haven't That's memorized. That's what my notes say, so I think so. Okay, there you go then. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it off the press release. Okay, well, I'll go with that. Yeah. Right. That sounds good. It's, it's high resolution is what I usually yeah. say. Very high resolution, very high brightness and all that good stuff. It looks like you're showing us here a whole like home Home-ation. layout or something. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know. I've I've got the yeah. camera oh, you're right on, here. You're on that one? Okay, so you got oh, a good yeah. shot of it. So yeah, the, the beauty of it is you can put a very large home on the touch panel itself and view what's going on throughout the house. You see little icons for doors being unlocked. Yeah. You could go in and lock them right here. Wait, can I try? Is yeah, this hooked no, up to anything? It is not. It's, okay. a, it's a kind of a, what we call a static demo. Of but, course. Okay. Uh, there, there's some interaction that we can it. show you. I'm just going to touch ahead. it. Go, go for it. Touch, touch it. it. So uh. I tell you what, there Ooh, you go. Yeah, oh, that's, the, that's yeah. the guest house. Can I zoom in now? Okay. No, zoom is not in, activated now. Oh, it's pool. fully programmable. You have a pool. Nice. Yeah, I like that. exactly. And we can go in and see the temperature. Yeah, that's yes. the that's the thermostat. This is the pool control, and what's going to happen when you press that is a thing will pop out from the side. Now I mentioned that one is a static, static demo, demo, so not totally everything's understand. working. So you can also get an app on your iPad. So you can have more than just one touch panel oh, in your home. Oh, good. Yeah, so same look, same feel, same what operation. What about iPhone? Yes. Okay. What about Android? Yes. What about BlackBerry? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Windows 8, yes. Okay. Windows 8, yeah. all, right. all right. I just wanted to get a note in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. one other really cool thing that you can do, you can uh, segment the screen into three and multitask. So you can oh. check the temperature check on the kids in the bedroom, make sure they're not getting into anything they shouldn't be, and the third, check it, check to see who's at the front door. Or work the pool equipment. No, or whatever. Right, yeah. so I got a little story I can show you here if you like. You press the uh, uh, intercom. So these are intercom enabled as well. And you can go to different rooms in the house and talk to them there, as well as control it. So you can go, hey, How's the temperature in the uh, guest house? Yeah. Oh, it's a little chilly. Okay, I'll turn the temperature down right there. Your guest doesn't have to go look for the thermostat or anything. Or maybe you got kids and you want to uh, find out what they're doing. So they're playing in the pool. So you intercom out there, hey, you guys, 
Uh, don't dunk your sister. Right. <laughs> I told you not to do that. Or do dunk your brother. Whatever yes, the right. case is. Exactly. <laughs> or, you know, pick up the trash and right. bring it in the house, that right. kind of stuff. So. <laughs> Sounds like you have kids. I do have kids, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so basically, anything you can think of that you would like to control from the touch panel in your home, almost anything has an on switch these days we can do for you. Uh, through custom programming. So uh, Janice Gu in the chat room is asking, what if you want to see something from a different house as well? Like maybe you have this system in two houses, can I yes. integrate? That's a great question, yes. Uh, the other beauty of this is it can happen from anywhere in the world. If you have a networked uh, house, which most people do these days, then you set up a virtual private network access and you can get to it from any computer, any iPad in the house. Okay. Uh, it can approximate or repeat what's on an existing panel that's in the house or you can just load the touch panel on here not to get too technical um, and you can automate things so when you walk away you can have it programmed a lot of our customers have multiple homes so if they go to the mountain house for uh, a ski trip uh, they can dial in it's all right, I want things nice and warm and toasty when I get there, and when they uh, drive up in the driveway, everything's already nice. working for them. And then when they leave, it shuts <laughs> down, but they can still monitor, make sure if anything uh, goes offline. If you have a uh, security system and the power goes out, security company usually calls you, but you can also get a text right at your uh, cell phone. It's also good to note that we have a lot of baby boomer clients Okay. And they're taking care of their parents yes. who want to live at home. They want to maintain their independence. So if both homes have AMX home automation, they can use this to check in on their parents, make sure everything is okay. Now, one thing, I know you're going to like this. I believe I read that it has NFC support as well. Yes. So talk to me about that. So if you have uh, your phone or uh, any kind of uh, tablet. NFC tablet, yep. yeah. There's a sensor in the touch panel. Again, I apologize, it's not active right now, uh -huh. but you could walk up to it and bam, it would know who you are. And one thing you could do is if uh, you had maybe um, two different users who like the settings in a home theater different, you know, like my wife doesn't like all the lights completely off when she's watching yeah. a movie. Right. She likes a couple of lights on. I like it completely dark. And most of the time we're in the room together and she wins that argument. Yeah. <laughs> but if she's out of town and I want to turn all the lights off, shades go down, lights go down, I like it really cold in there. I could start the popcorn popping, whatever you can think of. How about putting like an you. NFC sensor somewhere embedded near the door and when I get home, I could tap it instead of using a key to unlock my door. Absolutely. So I think this is gorgeous and beautiful and you've done a really good implementation. How much are we talking? Well, the, okay, so you're thinking about a different device than you are an iPad. Yep. You know, this is specifically made to do the things we make it to. List price on it is 11900 Okay. Uh, you will not find any other ultra wide screen, panoramic, 20 inch touch panel one, out yeah. there. Um, and it's got lots of other features. It does have the built-in duplex. It can replace your um, security system monitoring because it's got uh, live motion built into it. It can replace your intercom capability. It can replace all the systems in your house. So you can imagine you walk down the hallway and you've got keypad for this system, keypad for that system, keypad they for this system. all feed back to all this. All right here. Okay. So this is not just a monitor. This right. is an entire control system. It, it, it's it, like a computer, basically. It is your network operation center, you know, mission control okay. for your house. So the typical system has one large screen somewhere in the home, and then maybe a few uh, touch screens throughout the house, either our smaller ones or iPads or, okay. or, or other touch screens. Let's say that I wanted to get that and I say, okay, it's, it's about 12 grand, right? So yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm willing to drop 12 grand on this, but obviously that's just my controller. Now I need a bunch of other stuff. I need to be able to turn you on all my cameras, lights, unlock my doors, yeah. fire off some music, whatever. Uh, how much does a, a full system on, you know, moderate sized home generally run and That's is good. it something people could do themselves if they're really geeky or do they really need a professional come in? Um, very few people could do it themselves. Okay. The, the programming is not really uh, set up to mm -hmm. do like a, you know, it's it's not a little purchase Wizzy at Wig. Best Buy, uh, yeah. you know, universal remote. It's, right. it's a little more complicated than that. These are 
um, enterprise ready, commercial ready uh, IT devices. Gotcha. That said, um, you could uh, purchase a system to give you whole home audio and video. Say, we, uh, we put together a system the other day, for instance, and it was four video sources, uh, no, I'm sorry, eight video sources with audio and everything, and four zones of output, you know, screens in different rooms, and everything's centralized and switched, so you could watch one room in a different room and that kind of stuff. And uh, not counting the installation cost, but the equipment yep. cost, was about twenty thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. And we'll, and it's doing HVAC controls. Yeah. Has that door capability? Locks or yeah. So garage um, door openers. Yeah. The more functionality you get, the yeah. more. The, if, with that yeah. system, I was thinking mostly of your uh, audio visual AV stuff. stuff. Okay. Yeah. And and some lighting. The lighting's fairly inexpensive. There's yeah. a lot of stuff out there for that. But maybe in the twenty to twenty five grand range, and you could, could you could you could do a pretty good home automation system. That, Plus the installation yeah. and right. programming and whatnot. That's our that's our entry level. Entry level. So entry level. Yeah. yeah. And we've had obviously we could spend any amount on it. <laughs> you could. You yeah. could. We saw uh, just the home theater, not the rest of the house, uh, with all the equipment, the projectors, and the screens, and the furniture, and everything. People spend three million dollars on that's it. That's amazing. You know? yeah. yeah. Well. Exactly. We gotta, we gotta let you guys go, yep. but I hope we hook up with you when we all get back to Texas. Absolutely, yes, we, we should. Will. Maybe we can do some follow-up stuff and, right. and yeah. see, right. see how far yeah, we can right. go with this, you know. And sure. so that is the Madero X. Madero yes. X. All right. And we did say that it comes in multiple sizes. So, okay. Um, okay. Whatever is convenient, and also, by the way, just so you know. AMX solutions are used in the White House Situation Room, so you know that oh. you're going to have a product that wow. is reliable, and it's a product that is in a lot of different highly secure facilities. So, wow. It's well, a fabulous line product. Stuff. She Good had to stuff. throw that in. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would you too. Guys exactly. <laughs> you get you. bragging rights You're when right. you own AMX <laughs> product. That's right. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank They'll you. Get you. Thank you. Norm, you get them get them taken care Alrighty. of. All righty. All right. So, I, wow, I think that was a beautiful, beautiful device. Is, is it endorsed by the NSA, Greg <laughs> Mitchell? <laughs> no, they don't let the NSA no. touch their equipment. <laughs>